hi guys it's Kirby welcome to my channel in today's video we are doing another dupe because we celebrate dupes all month long in April because a long long time ago I thought April Fools April dupes how cute none of these videos are sponsored it is the most expensive series of my channel I have purchased all of this makeup on my own so sometimes you will see travel size or kits and things like that because your girl's on a tight tight budget and I'm trying to stretch my dollars to make them work. In today's video we are testing out the Kiss Lash Glue Liner against the Ioni Everlasting Lash Glue Liner, a two-in-one. Uh, you can find the Kiss one at Ulta. Most drugstores have it as well. Some grocery stores that carry makeup have it. Target, Walmart, those places. Ioni is sold at the Dollar Tree. So we are going to talk a little bit about these products. Let's start with the Kiss. Kiss is probably one of the more affordable brands that you can find at the big box retailers. This is $9.99. You get 0 0.02 fluid ounces or 0.7 milliliters in here. Also, there are brands like House of Lashes that have them, Lily Lashes, things like that that cost upwards of $15 to $20 for the same thing. Um, some of them are brush tips, some of them are felt tips. Uh, but they are pretty much all the same thing. This one I have experience with because I have purchased it in clear before and I did do a review on my channel of it. It's not my favorite method of applying lashes, but it is good for like keeping in your purse for touch-ups, also applying like gemstones and things like that. It comes in two colors, clear and black. We are testing out the black one today. Moving on to the Ioni Everlasting Lash Glue Liner. They just recently launched this. I do believe it comes in clear and black, but I could only find the black. It is sold in select Dollar Tree, so it is $1.25, as well as sometimes they will sell on their website. They will sell lash kits and bundles, which this was released in a uh, recent lash bundle, I believe. And so some Dollar Trees you can find the lash bars and you can buy things individually. If you're buying a bundle from their website they sell like small bundles and then big lash bars. So that's the tea on this. As I said it is $1.25 for 0.32 ounces or 9 grams. So it is actually bigger than the Kiss and that is an $8.70 four cent difference between the kiss if you're looking into other brands like house of lashes or lily lashes this can save you you know probably 18 19 dollars depending on the price okay if you are unfamiliar with how we do dupes here we test them side by side so i'm going to use the kiss on this side and the ioni on this side the lashes that we are using today are ioni lashes i have prepped them um i have three or four Ioni lash bars in my like basement. I have purchased them all myself directly from their website. It was quite an investment, but honestly, they're the only lashes I use, so I highly recommend uh, this. <laughs> this is not a sponsored plug for Ioni, but if you can find them at the Dollar Tree, stock up. They're amazing, they're wonderful, you know, all that jazz. So we're going to use these side by side. We're going to use the Kiss on this side, the Ioni on this side. Um, they do both have like an airtight cap seal, which I will show you, and then also the tips of them are slightly different with the Ioni, this one being much more sharp and precise, and the Kiss being a little bit more rounded. They're both felt tips, um, which I'm not necessarily like the biggest fan of, but such as life. How we're going to use these today is we are going to draw on the eyeliner and then stick the lash on as I talk about both of these liners. Normally how I do my makeup is I do the liner, then I put mascara on, then I glue my lash on. These are a little bit better for like 
no makeup makeup looks when you're just trying to put a little liner and lash on but to test them out to their fullest ability I did put a little bit of eyeshadow on today obviously you can see that so we can see how well they do apply over top of eyeshadow and not just a bare lid I think we all can say that they'll stick to a bare lid but can they go over top of eyeshadow because I think a lot of us aren't wearing lashes without a little bit of eyeshadow on so let's start with the kiss all right the kiss says apply glue liner along your natural lash line just like regular eyeliner before the lap the liner has a chance to dry immediately place your false strip lashes on the liner pat to set the lash strip in place repeat on the other eye it says Kiss Lash Glue Liner glides on as a felt tip eyeliner and performs like a lash glue. Position false lashes over liner and they stay put all day. Available in black and clear, matte finish, foolproof, easy touch up, dermatologist tested. All right, the Ayani Everlasting Lash Glue Liner. Glide glue liner along lash line and apply your favorite false lashes. Touch up if necessary. No fuss, no mess, flawless lashes every time. This two-in-one lash glue liner works as a lash glue and black felt tip liner all in one. Glide the precise liner along your lash line and pop on your favorite lashes. Keep your false lashes in place all day long. Here they are they're both glued on um i'm gonna zoom you out just like a little bit a smidge yeah um so they're both glued on i still need to put like actual mascara on i will say the glue dries down very quickly so you have to act fast like make sure your lashes are prepped before you put them on like i had already clipped and trimmed and like broken up the band and stuff before I put them on and I will also have to say that I think the Ayani feels more secure than the Kiss although they do look nice without mascara on too um I think I just prefer a little bit of mascara here let me All right, we're already having some popping up on the kiss and I think that's Kirby error. So let's go back in with some more. Now that liner looks terrible, but you know, such as life, they are both sticking. Um, I think this is something you can't be timid with, especially uh, because again, timid, when I, t <laughs> see, look, this is like me touching up and now it looks like terrible, um, but that's okay. They're both sticking. Let me zoom you out so that we can talk more about this. After applying some mascara, they're both sticking on, they're both feeling good. This is, again, not my preferred method of applying lashes, but I understand why a lot of people like it. I will say that I think that they make the Kiss Lash Glue a little bit more juicy than they used to. Um, or maybe I'm just using, maybe the black and the clear have different feels, but it definitely feels a little bit more smooth and juicy going on. And I do feel like I felt the glue more in the Ioni like I felt the stick or I feel the stick a little bit better in the Ioni are these dupes for each other absolutely also if you're going to store these store them upside down tip down so that you know the glue liner is staying fresh um 
I do think that these are a dupe and I feel like the Ayani if you're lucky enough to be able to find it in Dollar Trees are it's a great affordable option and honestly like save your monies and pennies because like it did the same exact job as the Kiss and I'm sure it'd do the same exact job as like the Lily Lashes and things. I think the only thing you'd have to be worried about is if you have an allergy but the Ayani is latex free and 100% vegan. For $1.25, like, yes please. Uh, I will link these down in the description box below, so if you are interested in checking them out, you can do that on your own time. Scour the Dollar Trees, you guys. Dollar Tree has some great makeup options, whether it's lashes, liners. This Ayani brand is fantastic. They have all kinds of things. Um, I mean, Kiss is good too, don't get me wrong. I love my Wispies, but if you're trying to save some money, Dollar Tree is where it's at with Ayani. I will link these down in the description box. If you found this helpful, uh, please give it a big old thumbs up. Let's start a conversation down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the, noti blah, hit the notification bell. I would hate for you to miss out on any more videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys.